speaking during the official opening of the festival, Kelo Harsama, Security Administration under the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Irrigations, identified the various measures the government is putting in place so as to promote the consumption of organic food products. As a ministry, we are committed to uh, the, the success of the Big Four agenda. Uh, we are trying to ensure that uh, we are food sufficient and the food which we want to, to be sufficient must be nutritious as we have just discussed. Uh, we are currently embarking on increasing the production of uh, maize, the production of rice and production of uh, potatoes. We are also uh, uh, engaging various stakeholders uh, and ourselves to ensure that the food uh, we want people to eat is nutritious. Environment and health. He further added that the government is committing to improving food security which is part of the Big Four agenda. We are committed, we are going to support the stakeholders who are engaged in uh, uh, the production of uh, organic food. We know we want to sensitize the people of Kenya about the safety of what they are eating. We are aware that there are a lot of farmers who have been applying chemicals, excessive chemicals on vegetables, on crops, on other uh, foods which people eat. As a government, we have an agency which is concerned with regulating chemicals. And therefore, we are going to empower that agency to ensure that the chemicals which are applied on these plants are regulated to ensure that they are safe for consumption. Simply said, you can't... Dr. Bitang Endemo, an associate professor at the University of Nairobi's Business School and a former permanent secretary in the Ministry of Information and Communications, drew attention to the World Health Organization report that indicates people are dying due to the quality of food they are taking. It's in a mess. That is why a lot of us are dying to cancer like flies. 90 people dying every day is not a good thing to cancer. And then who has said, WHO has said, it is caused by the foods, the foods we eat. Pesticides. He went on to add that organic farming can be adopted in the country, but only if people become flexible with their cultural practices. If we stop our cultural practices which have messed us, subdivision of land means that productivity is down and then it translates to farmers misusing um, chemicals when they are growing in order to improve productivity. But what effectively they are doing is to kill people. It was the same. He also pointed out that technology can be incorporated in the promotion of the adoption of organic foods in the region. IT works in terms of supply chains, to build the supply chains, to understand who has organics and where they are and how they can exploit. How, like myself, I would want to know who has organic food and how can I get it. A lot of opportunities. Speaking to Jack Juma from Kenya Agriculture Network, he cited various ways of identifying the organic food products. Traditionally, organic uh, uh, products are known through certification. So you will get uh, that they have organic mark uh, that uh, indicate that they have been approved or certified as organic product. So we have what we call the East African organic mark or Kilimohai mark, which uh, is ticked, is, is a labeled put on certified organic product in, in Kenya, not only Kenya, but the whole of East Africa. And this uh, mark uh, verify that the product has gone through East African organic product standard. But Jan Otten, the senior advisor at Green Rhino on his part, spoke on the barriers of adoption of organic food, key among them being pricing. One of the biggest hindrance here in Kenya is I think the current food system as it is organized with the supermarkets and the, the retail sector and uh, hotels. It is organized very efficient, but only on price. So the biggest thing for producers here is about price, having foods that look good, but are not necessarily good for you, because there's many reports of pesticides, pesticide res residues, heavy metals, contaminations, microbiology. So I think there's a concern also among the consumers in Kenya that we have to change something about the system. 
all efforts geared towards food security are welcome and especially when such efforts are accompanied by concerns for sustainability as well as the safety and health of the consumers. All this is in hope for not only attaining the Big Four agenda but also the Sustainable Development Goals. For Brand Plus TV Business News, I am Daisy Wambua.